One way that I start off with patients to make art is we use inks. We'll take um, a spritzer and we'll spritz the page and I'll invite the patients to pick a color, to fill up the tube, and then squeeze again over the wet page. What are we noticing? Do we see the colors moving? Often patients really enjoy this process because it's relaxing. One of the great things about our therapy is that we don't need to rely heavily on language. It's a form of psychotherapy and the art does the talking for us. And so an art therapist will come alongside a patient and the hopes are that they can work together to create some emotional exploration and really free the patient enough to express themselves and explore what's going on using art. I was studying at the University of Alberta to become an art therapist and I ended up being diagnosed with this stage four malignant medulloblastoma, which is a brain tumor. And so I ended up coming to Princess Margaret and thankfully my treatments went very smoothly and I had a very quick recovery. Being a, a survivor and a former cancer patient myself, um, I feel like it really allows me to view the experience of the cancer journey through a different lens. I think it's um, given me insight and deeper compassion for the frustrations, for the entrapment feelings that I can't go anywhere. But I feel like I can support a patient from a very different perspective than I, I would have been able to from before. You don't have to be artistic to have a very enjoyable or successful art therapy session. There's, there's no instruction per se, and there's no right and there's no wrong. When we make art, art is an extension of ourselves. So we are just putting our feelings or you know something out there. And it doesn't need to look beautiful. We don't need to have a beautiful end product. Princess Margaret has never had um, an art therapist on staff before, and this is really exciting for me. I'm really, really looking forward to the opportunities. I think there's huge potential here uh, for Princess Margaret to really expand um, different aspects of supportive care and I'm really looking forward to bringing that forward.